Hello everyone, welcome to Linux tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to create your own services under your Linux system. Normally, in Linux system, services which are allows a particular task or process to run properly. These services are responsible for running some particular tasks in your system. If the service is stopped working means, then the task will not be performed. We can able to start and stop these services manually by running the command. Currently, there are lots of services running in my system. Now, I am going to list what are the services currently running in my system. To do that, first you need to log in as root by type sudo space hyphen s enter. Now enter your password and type the following command systemctl space hyphen hyphen type equal to service and enter this command will list you what are the services are currently running in your system there are lots of services will be running in your system press q to quit here you can see these are the service name and these are the status which is loaded active running Loader active exited running means currently the service is running exited means the service is stopped working if you want to check status for a particular service enter the following command system ctl space status space any service name I will type cron dot service and enter now you can see the service cron is currently loaded and running by the same way you can able to check status for any services by running the system serial status command now I'm going to show you how to enable or disable a service to disable a service type the following command system ctl space disable space service name cron dot service and enter which will state that the service is disabled to check the status run system ctl status cron dot service and enter here you can see the service is disabled to enable the service type system ctl space enable space service name cron dot service and enter check the status system ctl space status cron dot service now you can see the service is enabled what is mean by enable or disable means if you enable a service the service will be automatically started in next boot now the service is running now I am going to stop the service by running the command system ctl space stop space service name and enter now check the status system ctl status space cron dot service here you can see the service is inactive and dead which means the service is stopped if you reboot the system the service will be automatically started because the service is enabled if it is disabled means it won't start in the startup if you want to start the services immediately means run the following command system ctl start space service name and enter now check the status system ctl status service name and enter now you can see 
the service is started without rebooting by running this systemctl start command now you go to this directory cd space slash etc slash systemd slash system and enter type ls here i am going to create my new services here you can see there are already some services created under this directory and you can see some directories named as something dot wants dot wants like that here one directory called multi user dot target dot wants i am going to list this directory ls space directory name and enter here you can see there are some services in this directory which means this multi user dot target wants this services to be loaded when is run level reached here you can create your own services in this path or else you can create your services in another path which is cd space slash lib slash system d slash system here i am listing here also some services are located here also you can able to create your own services so we can able to create our services in two different path whether in slash lib slash system d or system or else we can create slash etc slash system d slash system now i am going to create my new services in this path now i am going to create a new service this service will automatically create a new file under the root directory when the service is started for that create a new file with any name with extension dot services for that i am typing vim space i will name it as create dot service and enter now press i for insert mode now type the following content which is the content you need to type in this file here you can see this is the description this means the service will be loaded after loading the network dot target and this is the script will going to execute after starting the service this script is located in this path this is the script name touch dot sh and here this service is wanted by multi user dot target now save this file press escape on the type colon double equal and enter now the file is saved now you need to set execute permission for all users for that type ch mode space a plus f for giving execute permission for all under the file name now enter now i'm listing the file since my service is created now i'm going to enable this service by system ctl enable command for that type system ctl enable service name create dot service and enter here you will get some confirmation message for the services is enabled successfully which is nothing but a symbolic link will be created under this path for this service name you can verify it by typing ls space and this directory name and the enter here you can see there is a symbolic link will be created in this path if you enable the service the link will be created 
if you disable service the link will be removed now I am going to create the script file in this path m slash user slash local slash bin slash the file name should be touch dot sh because we have previously mentioned in this file now type enter press i for insert mode now type the following touch space slash root slash file press escape and type colon wq and enter now make the file executable for all users ch mode space a plus x space and the file name file located in slash user slash local slash bin slash touch dot sh this script file will create a new file under the slash root directory after starting the services now I am starting the service system ctl space start space service name create dot service and enter now the service is started successfully let's check whether the file is created under the root directory or not for that simply type ls space slash root and enter here you can see there is a file is created under the slash root directory since our service is started successfully and the file is also created so this is how we create our own services in Linux system so that's all about for this session thanks for watching